Hi, this is Ed, KJ4FGI. I want to make this video on a very easy to build and a must have for those of you who work portable communications using battery power while involved in amateur radio uh, emergency services, whether you're out in the field in the mountains or at a beach, camping, whatever, etc. Uh, while searching through the internet for a low battery alarm, I came across this schematic. Let me see if we can get it in here. Now you could freeze this. I'm, I'll uh, leave it up for a second. I'll see if I can find it. If, it, if I post it on the uh, YouTube video site, you'll see it. That's the schematic, and I'll show you the parts right here. It's uh, R1 and R3 R1K quarter watt resistors. The potentiometer is a 5K pot. U1 is an IC chip. It's LM339. Uh, the Xena diode, which is uh, D1, is uh, a 1N5233, V is in Bravo, Xena diode. And then, of course, Z, uh, D2 is an LED. And the BZ1 is a, is a Pizzo tweet, uh, buzzer, and then uh, you have the breadboard. Now, that's the, uh, the chip, but you really won't be able, won't really need it because here, it gives you the uh, the numbers uh, which uh, terminals on the chip to use very easy to do um, alright but anyway the reason why that I had uh, searched for this and built it was because of this right here it's called the TGE let me see I'm on a, tri a tripod here it might be uh, in a way let's see if we got it here there you go that's the uh, TGE. It's a November 8 X-ray Juliet Kilo boost regulator. Your battery can go all the way down to 9 volts and this will still put out 13.8 volts. And uh, I believe it's 30 uh, amps of power out. And that's uh, if you see the lead acid battery goes all the way down to 9 volts. So I wanted to, this has a low battery alarm on it. I don't know what it's set to. Um, I don't. I didn't read the instructions. If you can really even set it, but uh, let's say I don't want to take this along. I want to uh, operate QRP, and I take my uh, take a 12 volt battery out, a small one, like a 12 volt, uh, you know, seven amp hour battery to use with my KX3 or something like that. Well, put together, what I did was I built this. Uh, 49 or 40 meter CW kit for a friend of mine. Um, let me put it in a box for him. Uh, and this right here, I just velcroed on the top. You could take it off. That's the inside. I don't know if you can really see it and if you got much light. Right, that's the inside of it. Hold on a second here. Okay, that's the inside. Right here is the LED. And then right here is the uh, Pizzo buzzer. This is what, it's, what it looks like without a box. Now what I did was uh, I put one in my battery box. I'll show you that in a minute. Anyway, you need to adjust the threshold on it to whatever you want it at. Now, right here... See if I'm on it. There you go. This is a DC to DC step down. It'll step down to 1.3 volts. Uh, so it's between 1.3 and 37 volts out, and you can put 4 to 40 volts in. Right now I have it set at 9 volts. So let's say I want to set this uh, alarm to go off when the battery is uh, going down to 9 volts. So what I'm going to do. Right there, see the LED goes on and then the alarm goes off. So right there, it just goes on. So at 9 volts, it'll go on. Now, what I do most of the time is just take a 9-volt battery I got kicking around. Now, this battery is less than 9 volts. Matter of fact, let's see how many volts are on this battery.
8.58 volts. Okay, there you go. Now it'll go off at, at 8.58 volts. So when your battery goes to 8.58, the alarm's gonna go off. What I wanted to show you, this is my battery box, but, uh, okay, hook it up here. Yeah, that's the battery box that I had built. Um, I got a volt amp meter inside here. Uh, this is a charging port. And then, of course, you got um, power poles, two of them, Anderson power poles. You got a cigarette lighter socket here, circuit breaker here for uh, 30 amps. And then you have your poles. So anyway, right here is where I installed it on the, uh, the battery box. You can see the alarm goes off. I had it set to uh, 9 volts, but I, of course I just blew that. I'll have to recalibrate it again. Piece of cake with just a 9 volt battery. Uh, so it's very easy to build and uh, you can put it on anything you want. Uh, like what I had. Uh, you could even, even if you don't want to put it in a case, just build it like this. What you need to do is put a couple of alligator clips on the end, attached to any battery, and uh, you're, you're good to go. But uh, it's not bad to build in a case. And then um, have the removable cables. Now, this is the first time using a tripod all the time. Um, normally when I hold it, you'd get seasick. So I didn't want to hold the camera this time. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. It's a piece of cake to put together. Um, I got it, got it down. Basically, I could build it in a half an hour. Now, start to finish. And that means turning on a soldering iron and etc. So, uh... Good luck. Any questions, not a problem. I'm on QRZ. You can always email me or you can ask me on a YouTube site. All right, everybody. Uh, God bless. This is KJ4FGI. I'm clear.